Hey everybody, sir. This is Glenda. We are DD Miniature and Board Games. Hey, so we went into what, Books a Million today? Yes, we did. And I was looking for the new Star Wars movie, you know, uh, Star Wars book, the one about uh, where. Not the movie, but you know, the book. That they're doing like fighting zombies. And I'm like, hey, let's go look at the game. Sometimes I got something cheap, right? So, Unmatched Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now, they had this. It's normally about 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. They had it for 30 but they were doing a 50% off sale on all their clear, their marked items. Mm -hmm. So when I got to the register, I was pleasantly surprised to pick this up for $15. Nice. That's the one in the um, middle bin, right? It's not in the main No, game. this was actually in the main games. Is it the main game? Yeah, I was looking to see how much it was, and you know, it's fifty ninety nine, and then it had the clearance tag oh, down to 30 okay. and then they did 50% off. And they gave off. you another, um, yeah. So if you want to see Goodbye. what's inside. Stay tuned. Okay, so we gave you a little bit of background on how we got it. Now, mm -hmm. if nobody's really familiar with Unmatched, normally in these you get a game board, you get um, a character and a uh, sidekick. Mm -hmm. Now, I think in this one it's a little bit different because they're all kind of like main characters, but we'll find out when we get in there. But normally, like I said, you get a character and a sidekick, and you get a deck of cards. And in those cards it allows you to play either the hero, the sidekick, or both. So it's kind of like a deck building, but it isn't because you're not really building anything. You just got a deck. How many of this have we unboxed? Oh uh, well, let's see. We did the Bruce, uh, Bruce Lee. We did the Volume One, um, and we've done a couple of the other ones. I've got okay. several of these, and I've played it. I really like it, but every time you and I've sat down and try and get it on the table, yeah, something comes up. Okay, something happened. But hey, let's uh, let's go ahead. Let's open her up. Now, if I remember, also in here you have dials that you have to build to keep track of health and for each character. Okay, so now in each one there is a set of rules. Normally, the the rule system almost I've never seen a change in, but eh. It's like rules for every. Box. Yeah, and you characters. can you can normally mismatch the characters against each other if you want to take like Buffy against um Bruce Lee or Bigfoot or well, Little Red good. Riding Hood. No special um, right. rules for it. I mean, I think I've even got one that has like the Invisible Man and stuff on. <laughs> oh yeah, the cobblestone set. It's got the Invisible Man and a few others. All right, so here's the dials I was talking about. Now these get put together and it keeps track of the um their health. Oh. And normally it comes, almost everyone comes with some type of a map board, whether it's a large or small. Mm -hmm. And they usually are double-sided boards, as you see here. And then, like I was saying, we have the a different deck for every character. And we're going to go through these one by one. And then for each character, and these are color-coded, you have your sidekicks. I say sidekicks, Side. but you know, allies, your, your minor character, whatever you guys, whatever you kooky kids are calling it these days. Well, because for every hero, there's, there's a sidekick. Side or, as they would say in, what what is that, oh, Sky High, uh, mission support character or something like that? <laughs> I, I don't remember. But it was something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you have Spike's card here. And if I remember correctly, this is his Andercelia. I been, been so long since I've watched any Buffy. Mm -hmm. I think we watched the college years because it was we got interested. Um, and then it tells you what you can do on your on your thing. So it's like a. Uh, it's quick start. your uh huh. Yeah. It's your guide. All right, so let's look at these cards. Spike's got a lot of dance and a lot of rush. Now you see where I see how this one says Spike here, and Drusilla. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how you. Uh, it's a character. Yep. And then you got any, and this one could be used for either one of the characters. Oh, I thought it's a character too. Any. 
<laughs> okay, so you should have 100. Hang on for a second. What is that? This is a character. These are spikes cards. Spike cards. Mm. And you have. And these are angels. Angel. Who has faith as the sidekick, or as his mission support character. So, okay, so for every character, there are 30 action cards. So you got faith. I don't know, I like the unmatched stuff. There, It's a, it's not difficult to learn. It's mm -hmm. not a game that's difficult to teach somebody, but... Because of the way the cards come, you never really can guarantee your outcome or, you know, depending on who you're playing against. As you plan, but yeah. that's the beauty of the game, you know. And you do get a certain amount of cards in your hand to pick from when you're playing. So, I mean, every game can be different. Yes. Because if it's going to be the same all the time, it's going to be boring. Oh, I got the one with the rafters, too. The, the, Jurassic, the first Jurassic Park one. Mm. There's a new one that you can get like with a T-Rex and it comes with uh, a couple of the characters. But I've got the one that's got like the the guy that was the hunter. This is the Buffy set by the way folks. Uh, the one that was the hunter from Jurassic Park 1 and it's got the three raptors. Mm. And then your em emblems at the top mean different things like you got attack you got shield shield or attack and it's like special i think it has been a while since i've played i don't even remember playing you haven't oh okay that's why well like i said we all we've talked about getting it getting it out and playing it well, and then something's remember. always come up And I think I've literally got this condensed down into, I've got a lot of it, but I think I've literally got it condensed down to one box. Because there's, it's got a really nice, if you guys can see this, yeah, uh -huh, it's got it a really is. nice insert. But, even has a name. But if you have as much as we have, after a while, you really just got to, expansions and base games, you got to condense down in as little as possible. Mm. It won't open. Oh, there it is. I had the wrong side. Mm. So, where do we, what have we done to? Who has not. This is Willow and Tar Tara. And I know what everybody's saying at home. We want to see the 360 degree views of these figures. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll see it. These are also the ones, remember, that we we talked about that have the really, uh, it looks like a nice ink wash on them. That makes a real difference in just having the basic figures. Mm. Cool. Alright, so... We have our sidekick character tokens because unlike it's just the, sidekick it's, tokens. Yeah, it's one play. It's one one way that they save money with this is instead of having a figure for every one of your sidekicks or your supporting characters or your mission support or your morale ex experts. They just have they this just have a little token. With a mm hmm. Oh, it's not. It's really printed in it. Okay, cool. I think I think my Robin Hood one has three. <laughs> all right so uh like i said i'm not well versed in the characters but glenda's got the rule book so maybe she can tell us who these people are as we're pulling them out okay um okay they don't even have that pictures you know as associated to the oh here you go mm hmm mm. Mm. Hmm. 
Da -da. Da -da. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You know Angel is so, that guy. This one here is Spike. There you go. And like what we were talking about, it has that ink wash on it. Yes. So I it gets down right to the, gives it a little bit of depth and it looks like you did it something, you know, like and, uh, okay, you yeah. didn't buy it just plain and flat. And here's Angel and Angel is carrying a sword. A little bit bent, but not a problem. And then you have Willow. And I'm going to assume that this is Buffy. And Buffy has an <laughs> axe looking spiky thing. Yes. It's nice. And then they, when you have these type of really nice inserts, obviously everybody just goes and sits back where they belong. And I doubt I've got side kicks. Nice. And these are individual games, or like I said, normally you can mix match the characters and play the characters with other characters in any of the unmatched universe. There is actually a YouTube channel that about all they do is play unmatched, like every Friday night, unmatched. Wow, dedicated. Dedicated. Hey, if you like what you see, though, roll down to your uh, roll down, run down, jump down, fly down, drive down, however you want to do it to your local gaming store. Or click, click, click. We support. Scar Games in Fayetteville, Georgia. And we got this in Books a Million over in Sugarloaf Parkway Mall. Sugarloaf Mills. It used to be Discover Mills, which <laughs> really rolled off your tongue a lot yes, easier. That's why, uh huh. As always, folks, game on. Game on.